what's going on? Welcome back to Milltown ENT. I guess supposedly Young Thug got admitted into the hospital for the second time. You know, they're saying he went two days in a row. That just sounds crazy. Do y'all think he's doing this because of legit, genuine reasons? They just doing it for attention, maybe to try to get out of there. Do y'all think Young Thug really malnourished? Atlanta rapper Young Thug is back in the hospital, and it's the second day in a row that he's been admitted. Attorneys for Young Thug, whose legal name is Jeffrey Williams, say the rapper is not feeling well. It's the same reason they say he was taken to Grady Hospital yesterday for medical attention. The rapper has been in Cobb County custody for nearly a year now, accused of leading the Young Slime Life Street Gang. We are now in month five of jury selection ahead of his RICO trial. His attorneys have requested bond multiple times, citing health issues like sleep deprivation and malnourishment. What y'all think about that? Let me know in the comments. Do y'all think Young Thug is really malnourished or do y'all think he just doing it for attention? Do y'all think he trying to sway the judge? And I got this other clip too where the attorney does look a little concerned. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this as well. We don't have any updates on Mr. Williams, do we? Nor his condition? I, I do not. Um, I've asked the um, um, sheriff's department whether or not I would be able to perhaps make contact with Mr. William, if I'd be able to see him uh, at Grady, uh, the response is probably not. And so I, I, I have no idea what his condition is currently. I do know that he's had some difficulty um, of a similar sort at the Cobb County Jail a few months ago. And so I'm obviously very concerned about his, uh, his well-being, his current condition. Um, but no, to answer the first question, I don't have any additional updates. All right. Okay, well, at this point, I don't think there's anything we can do this afternoon, uh, given given that particular posture on, and of you taking on behalf of your client, as well as uh, well as, uh, as the court doesn't have any other information as well. So, um, what I'll do is we'll reschedule the jurors that we had today, and we'll come tomorrow, and we'll see what happens tomorrow uh, if I'm if we're in a better position uh, to to make some decisions. So tomorrow, uh, we'll start at 9.30. Y'all can be here for 9 o'clock. Um, that means actually be here in the courthouse. Don't be going someplace else because uh, um, I'm just telling you right now, I would suggest you be on time. And so we'll take up hardships until noon and then I have uh, 13.73 uh, sometime tomorrow. Yes, Mr. Adams. Um, Judge, let me ask the court's uh, assistance. And if, if you can't do this, you can't. Um, because I've heard you say before, and I understand that um, uh, the sheriff's department makes decisions in regards to uh, our clients and so forth. Um, I don't think that they'll let me uh, go to Grady to see him, uh, unless perhaps uh, the court requests of the sheriff's department that I be allowed to go to Grady and see Mr. Uh, Mr. Williams, uh, would the court assist me in, in that, if you could? I'd very much like to go and check on his well-being this I, afternoon. I will make an inquiry as soon as we recess, okay? All right, thank you. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. Mr. Sharp. Thank you.